how do you go out there and find the money? There's two ways to go about doing it. Number one, I would part. Now, you made the decision to go out there and syndicate. Where do you begin? Do you go and get the money first? Do you go and get the deal first? This is always the question, the chicken or the egg. I would encourage to start to market for the money first. When you have the money first and you have the confidence that you have the money behind you, then you're going to have an easier time communicating with brokers and looking at deals, knowing that you're not just spinning your tires. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at deals, talking to brokers. You're going to be lacking the certainty that you need. You're going to be second guessing yourself and you're going to be freaking out when the PSA gets signed and you have no idea where to go for the money. So how do you go out there and find the money? There's two ways to go about doing it. Number one, I would partner with someone that has experience in the space. If you have a group that has the confidence in you to go out there and be someone that can find the deal and bring it to them and partner on the deal, I think there's a lot of value in that. One of the biggest pieces of advice I've got when I first was getting started was to not focus on the money you're going to make on your first two deals. Focus on the learning experience that's going to take place. Because if you learn enough in this space, there's, you can make all the money in the world doing it if you're very, very good. Right? So when you're going out there, instead of saying, how can I keep 100% of this deal, I'd be more focused on how can I get the deal done and how can I produce good returns and results for the investors? So maybe you having the bumper of having an experienced group that you found a deal and brought the deal to, partner with you on that first deal, whether you're getting maybe you know probably some kind of a minority percentage on the deal, but they're helping with the capital raise, they're helping with the asset management side of things, you're learning, you're getting the chance to, to add value to them. I think that's one of the most valuable learning experiences that you can have.